All right, happy Valentine's Day 2022. So you may remember this sign from last year. Last year was just after the Great Conjunction and the theme of last year, Single Lives Matter, was basically to appreciate uh, life throughout the universe. This year's uh, Single Lives Matter uh, sign is to appreciate uh, the human race right now that we can actually go out to meet people. Last year it wasn't safe to do this, right? Last year we could only look up in the sky. This year we could actually go mingle with 7.9 billion people around the world. I thought it'd be a, a great time to talk about my uh, history of my relationship with myself because this is an exciting year for me. Because every six years, I seem to to to, uh, to move up a rung in my relationship with myself. Let me get to, to to what happened. So back in 2010, I had a a very abusive relationship with a girl. I broke up with her, and I was scared to death because I didn't know there was life outside of a relationship with a girl. And I ended up. Uh, going out alone and I really liked it and it was after that that I realized oh my god everything I did without the with the girl I could do without now every year every every year uh, on my anniversary or on Valentine's Day or every time I get into another relationship or every time I become happily solo sexual again and I tell my family about this experience that I had back in 2010 you know, my, my mom especially, but also my dad, they always get very angry that I had allowed this girl to take advantage of me. They forget about all this beautiful fallout of it. Uh, I don't know why. Only my parents, though. Everybody else seems to be happy for me. My colleagues, my boss, even my grandparents, and to a lesser extent, my brother. And um, I sometimes tell... Uh, in between my solo sexual relationships, when I when I do have a girlfriend, I sometimes tell them about it. They all feel happy for me. Only my mom, for some reason, gets a she just gets angrier and angry. I can't even discuss the subject with her. I can only tell her that I'm happily solo sexual. I can't ever tell her how I became solo sexual because she'll just get angrier and angrier and angrier as we talk, and um, which is sad because. She's carrying all the anger. I, I've been happily solo sexual for 12 years. She carried anger for 12 years. So who got the better end of the deal out of that? Now in 2016, I had argued with another girl. Again, this is something that we have to keep hush with my mom. She thought I was cheating on her because I was spending all my time writing computer games. And I drove out to Ellensburg and um, got a beautiful view of Jupiter and Saturn. They weren't that close in the sky back then. But that's when I... Uh, I want to say 2016 is the first time I ever felt any sort of solo sexual romance. 2010 was more like a solo sexual friendship. And so 2022 I think is solo sexual marriage. That's what I think. We'll have to see. Anyway, happy Valentine's Day. And remember... You're never alone, whether it be here on Earth and beyond.